Hey, this will be the weekly review of the Warrior Charts sent out by Bull Warrior Stocks. We will be covering the week of March 8, 2010. If you're unfamiliar with what these are, every week we send out five bullish chart setups and put them into categories. And then every Friday we come back and do what we're doing now. We do a video over them. And what we're looking at here is the email that we send out every Saturday. Uh, so if you're not on the list and would like to start to receive emails like this, all you have to do is go to bullwarriorstocks.com, uh, enter your email address, and you're uh, good to go. Uh, so with that, let's just dig in. Our five chart setups this week were RF, HNSN, EBIG, WAVE, and PKD. Right here you see our categories for them. We're not going to go through that now, but uh, like I said, if you sign up, you'll be able to uh, check those out. So our first chart setup of the week was our pattern play, and we selected RF for this. We had an ascending triangle pattern. We had this support level sloping up, and then we had this resistance level coming across the top. The key little area up here is at 687. So let's see what happened for this one on the week. Um, real quick, this blue line, this just represents uh, what the chart looked like on the uh, over the weekend when we sent it out. So here, once again, is our ascending triangle. Right here is the 687 mark, and you can see that on this day you got the breakout, so we're just going to base our calculations on a, a, a entry price of $6.90, so you could have gotten in there on that break. If not, this day was a nice little pullback where you've could have, you could have gotten in here. You can see that it stayed above the 10-day simple moving average, which was a good thing. And then here was the big move for the week, went all the way up to 7.62. Uh, so rest of the week, you know, still going well, but... Uh, on Wednesday was a big move and that was a 10.4 percent potential gain from an entry at 690 you now you could have gotten in a little less had you bought in on that pullback right there uh, but 10.4 uh, percent possible uh, window of uh, profitability as we call it so this one was a, a very nice winner for us and real quick like I said if you want to get eligible for these emails all you have to do is go to bullwarriorstocks.com and sign up and uh, you'll be uh, set and you'll also get a free ebook sent to you our next one on the week was our bottom bouncer play. For this, we had HNSN, just simply looking at you know a stock that had a nice doji and then started to show some strength. Uh, we always like to list pullback entries, uh, but it closed right here at $2.26 on last Friday. So let's see how this one uh, played out. So here's what the chart looked like. You can see uh, on these first couple days you could have gotten an entry right here at 226 where it had closed possibly even lower had you uh, you know waited a little bit and then here was a nice day where it broke uh, pushed up further on that nice volume and then uh, today and yesterday couldn't quite put in any new highs but from a 226 entry which was once again down here and you could have gotten lower but we'll just say from 226 up to this uh, high of 255 that was a 12.8 percent uh, move so you had a almost 13% window here to you know make a nice little trade in only a few days. So HNSN was another nice winner for us this week. Our next one was EBIG. This was a penny play, um, so it wasn't even above 20 cents. We were picked this one because we had a nice uh, positive trend. You can see these moving averages all sloping up nice words or nicely. 50-day cent moving average had a nice uh, slope to it. Once again, our pullback entry was, you know, if, if that was if that's your style, uh, then 11 and a half cents was that for you. So let's see how this one played out. So for this one, you know, you never really got a pullback. Couple different possibilities. We're just basing our entry on um, the high of this previous candle, which was at 17 cents. Uh, and as you can see, this day pulled back below there. This day pulled back below there. Uh, this day pulled back below. So you could have gotten in a less than 17, but we're just going to say you got in at 17. Um, and then more than once it came up here, uh, both here on this day and then this day right here, went up and hit 19 and a half cents. So from 17 cents, and you know, it'd obviously be a higher percentage if you'd gotten in below 17 cents in one of these two pullback days. Uh, but from 17 cents up to 19 and a half, that is a 14.7% move. So uh, EBIG would have been another nice little gainer for us over 10%. Um, had you gotten in, you know, anywhere between 17 cents or lower, as it did a good job of holding up and, um, you know, consolidating this week. Couldn't break to any new highs, but with these penny plays, it's not too hard to make, you know, a decent little percentage in a few days. Our next one was WAVE. This was our volume alert play. On these ones, we just simply look for something that's got huge volume, and that was the case here. 
uh, you know, big volume bar last Friday. So it's one of these where it's like, is it going to get any more upside move? And uh, keep in mind where we had our pullback entry right here at basically 40 cents. So here was what it looked like on Monday. Had a move, but didn't quite, um, you know, make any anything higher. Just gapped up, made a move, got knocked down by the 200-day, this orange line, and then came back down. Uh, on this day, you can see it came back and actually bounced right off of our support. You know, we're not fixing anything. It literally came down here, bounced right off that. Uh, but for our calculations, we're just going to, we'll bump it up two cents and say you could have gotten in at 42. And here it went up to a high of 48. This day it pulled back again, so it would have given you another opportunity to get in at 42. And then today went up and hit 48 cents once again too. So from a 42 cent entry up to 48, that's 14.2% gain. So another nice one here. Uh, had you gotten in just at the close up here, uh, you know, your percentage wouldn't have, let's see, had you gotten in at um, 46 cents, you now you could have still made your 5%, which is what we need to be able to count it a winner. Uh, or if you had been a little bit more patient or averaged down a little bit, you know, you had had a, a bigger window for profit. But either way, whether you had gotten in up here on an entry or down at one of these support levels, it would have been a winner for you either way. So as you can see, we've got four winners so far. And then we come on PKD. This was our pending breakout play. Uh, we were looking for a 540 break. And this one was kind of a, the bummer for the week. I was hoping we could go five for five, but unfortunately this one, uh, you know, just didn't work out. So this is what the chart looked like. We are looking for about a 540 break. Uh, so I should probably bring that down right there. And couldn't get it there, got knocked down. This day and here, you know, nice days above it, nice volume on that break, but just couldn't quite separate it. And like I said, we need to see 5% move in order uh, to count it as a winner. Maybe a lot of people just broke even on this one or are still holding. You know, you could still be holding. The chart still looks fine. Uh, but for our sakes, we can't count it as a winner because we didn't get to 5%. So this was a loser for us. But once more, if you are still holding, uh, you know, the chart still looks fine. But just for our sake and, uh, you know, our statistics, we need to just count this as a loser since we didn't get to 5%. But if anything, um, and had you gotten in at the 540 entry, you know, you could take a little small loss or you could hopefully have already broken even. Or, you know, you might be able to, you, maybe you made a few percent on it. I don't know, but we're going to count it as a loser. Uh, but four out of five for this week, not too bad. Uh, so once more, uh, if you want to get on these, the newsletter so you can get emails like this, just go to bullwarriorstocks.com, sign up, and uh, you'll be good to go. If you do have any other questions on the charts, uh, please let me know. But if not, we'll be sending out a new batch of them tomorrow. Thanks for listening, and enjoy your weekend.